Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to return the rows of a data frame where a certain column has values in a certain range. In this video I'm going to show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see that at the top right of RStudio a new data frame object appears which is called data. And if you click on this data object, you can see that a new window appears, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our example data frame contains six rows and three columns, x1, x2, and x3. Now let's assume that we want to return only the rows of our data frame where the column x1 has a value between the values three and five. Then we can apply the code that you can see in the following of this video. So first we need to identify the rows where the values in the column x1 lie in this range. And this is what we can do with the line 6 of the code. So in this line of code I'm specifying a logical condition to identify each value in the column x1 which is larger or equal than 3 or smaller or equal to 5. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new vector object appears, which is called identify rows. And we can run line 7 of the code to see the values that are contained in this vector. And as you can see, we have created a logical vector, which is true in case the value in x1 is in this range and false in case a value in x1 is not in this range. So as you can see, for example, the first value in our column x1 is between 3 and 5 and the second value in this column is not. So if we want to subset our data frame based on this vector, then we can apply the code that you can see in line 9. So in this line of code, I'm specifying the name of our data frame. Then I'm specifying square brackets and within these square brackets, I'm using the vector object that I have created before that is called identify rows to subset our data frame. So if you run line 9 of the code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object appears which is called data range 1 and if you click on this data frame you can see that we have created a new data frame that is a subset of our original data frame and all rows of this new data frame have a value in the column x1 between 3 and 5. So in this first example I have explained how to use square brackets to subset our data frame. However, it is also possible to use the subset function as I want to show you in another example. And within the subset function we again need to specify the name of our data frame, then we need to specify a comma and then we need to specify our vector that is consisting of the logical values that we have created before. So if you run line 11 of the code, another data frame object appears at the top right of our studio, which is called data range 2. And if you click on this data frame, you can see that we have created exactly the same data frame as in the first example. However, this time we have used the subset function instead of square brackets. So in this video, I have explained in two examples how to return the rows of a data frame where the values in a column are in a certain range. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, in case you have liked this video, I would be very happy if you give me a thumbs up on the video and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.